Hello there everybody, Jesper Grip here for Creativo.com and I'm back from a wonderful weekend of shopping and my girlfriend spending my money. <laughs> so, today I'm going to do a little tutorial for you, uh, but first, before that, I'm just going to tell you all uh, about a little idea we have here at Creativo, and that is that when we reach 5,000 subscribers on our channel here, uh, it shouldn't be impossible because we're growing pretty decently. Uh, so when we reach 5,000 subscribers we will release to you guys a unique uh, GFC pack with a lot of uh, new stocks just made entire just made specifically for this package so it will be a lot of new stuff so make sure to tell all your friends and uh, make them subscribe to us and we reach just 5k fast so you guys get this pack uh, okay yeah guys I'm going to show you a billboard stock uh, we're going to make this billboard from scratch and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Uh, I'm going to try to keep it as fast as possible because this takes pretty long time if you do everything. So let's let's get right into it. Uh, first of all, we want to do is take a pretty simple uh, brown color like this one and then we just want to make a square like this. Uh, just make it like whatever you want. I usually take and even these numbers out so we get it easy to make approximately the same size later on like that uh, we then just select this and we go into filter <coughs> we go into filter render and clouds and you must have one dark and one yellow uh, one dark and one bright color and then you just do clouds like this um, what we do then after that is go to filter gallery uh, and we want to go to sketch here and we want to take note paper so we take that put it on 32 11 and 12 okay and then we go back to filter filter gallery we go now to brush strokes and we want to select splatter and we put it on 15 and 10 uh, and then you see here we have a pretty da darn good um, billboard from that uh, what we do then is just basically we duplicate Oh, we we just make a new square. We could du duplicate that also, but I forgot to duplicate it from the start, and then it's not that good to use it. So we just use our eye uh, measurement, and we do another one. Put it beneath like that. So that's a pretty good one. I'm gonna make it a little bit darker, just so we see it better. And then we want to make this side a little bit bigger, and the bottom a little bit bigger, like that. And uh, this also a little bit bigger little bigger like that and then when we have done that what we do then is apply it and we take a line tool put it on a bright color and we just hold down shift and pull from the edges straight out like that and there as well and there and uh, as you see now we did a pretty good square since they are all aligned so after we've done this is basically we take this one and we press on rest right that layer and we then take our pen tool and what we want to do is just follow here uh, we move it in we go all the way to the bottom and we go all the way out and then we go all the way up again like that it doesn't have to be good and then just make selection out of that like that and when we have it selected we just press ctrl c and ctrl v ctrl c and ctrl v like that and now we have it duplicated then we just do the same on the top we just go like that and in and all the way to the other side and then up and then back like that and right click uh, and then make selection radius 0 control C control V like that and then I usually just turn this off and I align this better like that and then I usually just do a little cheating control G J we make a new one transform flip let's see vertically it's up and down so there we go and then we just do the same with the other one control J edit transform flip horizontal move it over to the other side like that and then we don't have to do it all over again and we're just gonna write right left but top and there 
And now when we have done all this, we want to have the billboard actually, you know, have a different kind of color. So what we're going to do is go into uh, layer style, and then we go to layer style, and we choose a gradient overlay for this one. And I'm gonna, okay, yeah, there we go. And then I just press in the middle here. We will get a brown color from that. And then what we want to do is select this brown of a color as we want here. A pretty, pretty. We want a pretty, you know bright brown color at first and then as you go here we want it's actually the bright one should be here and then dark one here so I'm going to change that to pretty much darker like that and I'm going to change this also a little bit something around there you, you can see what you think looks best and then you have a pretty shadowed frame there and we just press OK and we do to take the bot one we want to you don't want to just copy them you know because then it, they aren't going to look realistic you know they, then the shadow will be a bit wrong so we won't, don't want to do that uh, I'm going to take now a little bit of a sheet tool I have because I have this written down so it will go a little bit faster so let's see here border bottom I'm going to just take a fixed color here and I'm going to write it in. So if you want to use this, it's this one, 6E3C0B. And then for the middle one, we're going to take this one. There we go. And then for the last one, we're going to take this one. Something like that. OK. We press OK. We press OK, then we take the left one, going to put a gradient overlay. We're going to sit, put this on zero. Oh, sorry, I went a little bit. Pressing enter is always a bad thing, apparently. Pressing in the middle. Now we're going to take our border left here. Going to just select color. This is very boring job, to be honest. Uh, and also, this is for if you don't notice this is a green color it's for getting a bit better light at the left side so we're going to keep that for now you're gonna see that it fits pretty well uh, the middle one we're going to have this and on this side we're going to have a little bit of darker uh, I like to have it pretty orangey when it's a frame like this. So we're going to try and keep that a bit orangey. Uh, and then the, the last one right here. I'm also going to fix the top a little bit just so you guys get a good good color. Uh, there we go. And then the top one is going to be E77 D15. So there we go. Uh, hex is really good because you can always just write down the hex code and you can use the same color over and over again so once you used it once and you have one that you think looks good you can just reuse that one so that's pretty useful something like that and we're also going to put this down to zero like that uh, I'm going to fix the top a little bit, but the top is, you know, is pretty good already as it is. But uh, I'm going to just fix it anyway, since then we will get exactly as I had it before. Uh, border top. There we go. Want to make sure you guys get a good tutorial here. Uh, this is, by the way, for web designing. Like, if you want to use this for web web designing, it's a pretty cool effect to have you know for example you want to have a just a billboard you you know you pin the information to it or whatever and it's a pretty cool effect there we go and then I'm going to just go minus 90 something like that so there we go so now we have this fixed uh, and by the way this left side where you have the green that's basically where the light comes from so the darker side gets a little bit greenish it's it's cool color and th this is basically the billboard now turn off the corners and as you see now it's pretty good billboard um, so yeah that's it now we're just gonna do the positive
po post it notes so basically what you do is you take a pretty you know yellow white ish color or whatever you want I usually go with white or yellow because you know that's the usual post it notes then you just put one down like that and there we have a basic post it note and then if if you want to use control T you free move it a bit put up a corner like this and then you have it like you know flying a little bit and then just layer style and then drop shadow and you, you know you raise the size a little bit you don't choose distance you want it to move down a little bit size you can go up a little bit like that and there you have a pretty good post-it note so now we're just gonna do the pin basically and this is pretty fun and uh, let's put a pin like that put it there we're going to go into layer style the color doesn't matter at all at the moment and yeah we're just gonna do a normal gr gradient here so I'm going to select like uh, let's just put a normal here and we're going to select a bluish color we want it the blue we're going to select a dark blue there and there we go just put it on 90 degrees and then after that we're going to actually go back here and we're going to put okay I got a little bug there I think it's gonna work anyway put an inner glow we want to put the size up a little bit just so you see it it doesn't really matter and you're going to put it on a pretty uh, greenish color here so I'm going to put it on yeah something like this let's put it something like that okay and then after that you just do a new layer put a clipping mask and we take a white color here and we are just going to make the gradient uh, you know the basically so it looks round <laughs> so we put a dot there actually release clipping mask again something like that and then go to filter blur and then Gaussian blur lower this down a little bit something like that and there you have a pretty good pin. Uh, select inverse and then delete. So there we have a good pin. Uh, it looks 3D and everything. So now we're just going to do a shadow. We just take this, Control J, put it below, select the color of it, black, and we move it a little bit to there around there. We put off all the effects and we go to filter, blur, gaussian blur and we just you know raise the shadow up there or something like that and then we control J again because you know a pin has a also like a you know a pin basically so we pull it out make it thinner we put it in like this we're going to just make it actually smaller also like that something like that and then I'm going to lower down the opacity a little bit because I don't want it to be too strong and I'm gonna do the same here so there we go a basic pin with a shadow um, and yeah I can also show you really fast how to do a tape this is basically really easy you just put a tape like this a piece of far thingy there you put it on grayish uh, you put it down to around 20 20 yeah, something like that that's pretty good and then you have a good tape there and then you want to have make sure that you also rest trace it and you take a uh, eraser and you take uh, something like this put it up a little bit and then you just go over the edges like this so it looks like it ripped off and there you have it a good piece of tape <laughs> so that's how you do that and then you could put that you know over whatever and it looks pretty much like you taped it there so that's that's how you do that so yeah guys hope you like this tutorial and remember to like us and make sure to follow our channel and tell all your friends cuz at 5k you get another you get a really 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 good GFC pack so thank you all for watching and see you next time